If you're like me, your phone or tablet is also your portable media player for music and movies. The only downside is that all your media can take up a ton of space and leave little for anything else. But of course, I've got a workaround for that. I'm Sharon Vaknin for CNET.com and I'm going to show you how to stream music and movies from your PC to your Android device no matter where you are. To set this up, we're going to use an application called Skifta. It's going to create a remote connection between your computer, where all your media files are, and your phone so that you can access music from your PC in California, even if you're in Tokyo. Go to skifta.com and download the desktop application. It's compatible with Mac and Windows, but I'm going to show you how to set it up on Windows 7, and you can find instructions for the Mac setup on my blog or Skifta's website. When you install it, it'll ask you to make a username and password. Sign up, then give your computer a name, and wrap up the installation. Head to Windows Media Player 12. Here, we're going to locate the music you want to access and give Skifta permission to stream it from your computer. Go to Organize, then Manage Libraries, and select the type of media you want to add. If all your music is organized into an iTunes folder, add that, and do the same for any movies you might have. Now head to the Stream menu and select Turn on Media Streaming. If you don't see that option, it means you already have it enabled. Select Allow Remote Control of My Computer, Approve it, and Automatically Allow Devices to Play My Media. You can also go to More Streaming Options to give your library a name. And the last thing you need to enable on your PC is Network Discovery. Go to the Network and Sharing Center, then head over to Change Advanced Sharing Settings. Over here, turn on Network Discovery. This will let your Android see your computer. Set your computer aside and grab your Android device so we can set things up here. Get the Skifta app from the Android market. It's totally free and pretty easy to use. In the main screen, tap Choose Media Source and head over to Remote. Enter the username and password you set up when you installed Skifta on your computer. And once you sign in, you'll see the name of your computer show up. Select it, then the name of your library. Go to Choose a Player and select your phone. It'll take a few seconds to establish a connection, and when it does, go to Browse and Play Your Media, where you'll see your music, videos, and playlists. From here, you can fire up your favorite playlist or watch a home video from your desktop computer while you're away. Just remember to keep your phone connected to Wi-Fi and your computer at home online. If you have any questions, come ask me on my Facebook page. And head to howto.cnet.com for more videos like this. For CNET, I'm Sharon Vaknin, and I'll see you on the interwebs. Thank <laughs> you.